dad invaded us. He has wrecked the whole day. He's got his noisy drone. Uh, he just flipped the jet ski. He's eaten all the food. He didn't bring anything. And he's, he's talking really loud. And it is Australia Day. Not, not anymore. It's Invasion Day. So, he's a great guy. He's very generous. He's very exciting. I'm proud of him. He's clean and sober. And now, yeah, he's clean and sober. But the thing is, normal people just sit around the barbie and have a beer. They relax. He can't do that. So he's got to do dumb shit. That's just who he is. That's the million dollar bogan. I'm going to crouch down a bit. Yeah. I'm about as big as a million dollar bogan now. Hi, my name's Daniel Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, I've got my GoPro on my head as well. Someone's taking the jet ski! Someone's stealing the jet ski! <laughs> yeah, I know, I forgot to hide it. That's like, oh! Oh, yeah. Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, This is the Australian Esky. Beautiful. Just at the Paris house, David and Renee, they've given us some amazing hospitality. But I tell you what, they live in the most beautiful, beautiful place. I've got to say something about Tasmania. Recently when I've been here, every day it has been beautiful. Is that ringing? Huh? Is that ringing? Let's go. Morning. I'm pretty sure I saw you when I was here. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Danny. How are you? Have I met you before? No. You're, are you Clint? Clint? Yes. G'day, mate. How are you, mate? I've heard, good to of, I've heard a lot of good things oh, about you. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I was, was lying. David said you're an asshole. Yeah, I am. David's right. Who's this guy? Is this work experience kid? Yeah. What's that hat you're wearing? Friendship. Hey, properties. You'll be banished from the family empire. Yeah, well, I'll go for it. All right, buddy. Too easy. So, mate, bye. Mate, what's the story about this guy? That's what I want to see. Oh, hey Danny. Have I met you before? No, I'm new in the world. How are you? <laughs> Good, thank you. Just ignore the camera. I'm trying. Just pretend it's not there. <laughs> yeah, great. I'm subscribed already anyway. How long have you worked here for? Two years. Really? Nearly two years. Yeah. And you like it? Yeah, I love it. What's the best thing about it? Oh, David, no, not you. Can you get that idiot away from the camera? <laughs> The best salesperson in the, in the company. Are you? Yeah. That would be hard with David. Yeah. Australia Day, we went to Greens Beach to uh, sell a property, $600,000, and I reckon the contract will come together today. And you and your wife, who I just interviewed, um, are a team. We are. We are I indeed. I haven't got his wife yet, Danny. <laughs> what, what are you then? <laughs> yeah, I don't, actually, what are you? Just the better side of him. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, behind every great woman, there's a good bloke. That's me. <laughs> 
I just um, printed out my boarding pass and just like this. And what I've done is, without him thinking, I just chucked it in an envelope and put it in the pile. So it's in there somewhere. <laughs> so are you still going to post it? Yeah, I'll have to. It's not worth much to them. So someone's going to get a boarding pass? Yeah. <laughs> David, do you have any, like, is there a coffee shop that sells latte or do I just have to drink that gel coffee at the back? David, is there, a, is there a coffee shop that sells proper lattes or do I have to drink that gel coffee that's here? David. David. G'day Alan, David Perry, how are you? That's why you had a good Australia day. What's this work experience keep doing here? Shut up. Well, I, um, I did drive out of there wondering if you were going to do it. Well, she's got stuff for me, but you take priority, Mr. Perry. Yeah, Mr. Perry. <laughs> Mr. Perry. Does he, does David make you call him Mr. Perry? Yeah, yeah that's all right. Do you, no. do, you really have to, do you really have to call him Mr. Perry? Does everybody have to call him Mr. Perry around here? Wipe the shit off your nose, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get that. Jesus. Mate, see those rugs you're standing on? Gee, they look just like ours. Oh, they look just like ours. Did you steal that idea from us? Yes, I did, Danny. Hey? I paid you five thousand dollars, and this is the best five thousand dollars I've ever spent. In fact, the more I walk around this office, the more, mate. What the hell do you call that, mate? We're not in jail. I don't have. I have ordered lattes. I'm not in jail. Yeah. I want to know a serious question. Free David. Free David. Free I just want to. Am I the most famous person that's been to Tasmania before? No. I don't like you anymore. Charles? What's your name? <laughs> Shane. What do you do here? Um, reception. How long have you been here for? David. Over a year. Really? <laughs> Shana, Sha listen up. No, I'm serious, this is really important. Okay. When I walk into an office, mm -hmm. it's like when the president, no, seriously, don't, don't ignore me, <laughs> seriously. When the president of the United States walks onto any plane, it becomes Air Force One. When I walk into an office like Parry, this is now ha Hayeswinkle One. So I actually outrank everyone here. So is that cool? Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. David. Daniel. You're an independent in Launceston? Correct. What's your company ranked on um, Rate My Agent? Rate My Agent? Just to give the viewers some idea of who you are. Uh, in Tasmania. Yeah. Uh, last time I checked, i um, quite busy so I don't check quite often. I don't need to straighten my ego, but I think we're about 13th in Tasmania. Yep. Um, and I think we're possibly 4th in Launceston. Yep. Um, two of the companies in front of us are uh, very well established, been in town for quite some years. Um, so you're 4th in Launceston, how old's your business? Uh, it'll be 3, 23rd of March this year. So you're still two years in the... Yeah, yeah it's two coming years. Coming into three years. Yeah. Okay. And roughly, so you've grown your rent roll organically? Correct. What numbers are we talking? Don't, let's cut out the bullshit factor, but roughly, um, what's the rental t looking at? We'd be about 190 now. So nearly 200, which yeah. is good. Yeah. And... We did have a staff member leave and they stole a fair bit from us, so... Um, yeah, we did go backwards. I, I, I don't relate to any of that. Um, and you personally, you're an active listing selling principal because your, your business is still in your infancy like I was? Correct. So I was like that. And how many deals are you doing a year yourself with your little team? Uh, I'm, I'm personally doing well over 100, maybe 112 yep. uh, yep. in a 12 month period. And you did a million bucks, didn't you, last year? A mi that... Yeah, a million and 14. Yep, okay. Um, I, I do have 15 settling this month. That's so. massive. What's the average sale price in Launceston? Um, it's about 350. Yeah. Um, average Jesus. commission would be somewhere between yeah about nine thousand dollars average commission. Similar to where we're at. Yeah. yeah. And um, being an independent, have you found what's been the hardest thing? Um, Honestly. Just, 
just you work with your wife in the business yeah correct is that hard uh, yes it is yeah, yeah. It, it does have its times so. um, you know obviously uh, and we've got two young children as well so yeah. um, Mad Max and Pippa uh, Piper Piper yeah <laughs> so Piper's um, four months old now Max is a bit over three yeah um, so yeah yeah work, working with my wife is, is good because we're, we're definitely on the same page yeah and um, yeah, but it does have its challenges, you know, work doesn't seem to stop, um, yeah. you know. Do you, do you guys have a rule where when you're at home you don't talk about work or do you still talk about work? Would you like me to tell you what you want to hear? I would say yes, but no, no. It's, no, um, no, I actually want you to tell me the truth. It's work 24-7 pretty much. Renee, uh, my wife, has the ability to switch off, whereas my mind is always busy. Yeah, you're like me. Um, me and Stace have a rule, and... and where, where Stace wants to talk work all the time, where I say once I'm at home, we don't talk about it. Yeah. Um, cause, because all of a sudden I get really fiery about it and get upset about things. Yeah. Do you relate to that? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, just for the sake of the marriage, I try and, I think it's really important for people that work with their partners to have really clear boundaries. Do you agree or not? Um, yeah, I do. I always overstep them though, because yeah, I'm always pushing the boundaries, you know, whether it's life, whether it's relationships, whether it's business, you know. I don't relate to that at all. Um, biggest problem in your business you have? Um, biggest problem in the business is pretty much just trying to keep everyone happy. Um, you know, ha happy team makes a productive team. Um, and, and just finding out how everyone sort of ticks, you know, what motivates them. Um, what sort of appreciation they're after, that type of thing. And just, yeah, sort of identifying the cracks as we grow. Like we've, we've grown from, there was Renee, myself, and a property manager when we first opened mm -hmm. um, in a little office, which was no bigger than your bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, Max was four months old, getting bounced in a bouncer under the desk. Um, <laughs> so we've gone from three uh, to 14 now, so. Shit, I didn't have the microphone turned on. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna do that all again. <laughs> Shit, sorry, can we start again? Yeah. Okay, so where do you want to start from? Oh, wherever you want. No, I'm just joking, it was on. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Daniel Hayes. Thanks for watching Million Dollar Bogan Australia. So make sure you click the button right here. I'm gonna go.